We are here in a sheep barn at the farm show and I'm joined by two constituents, Mr. Calvert and Mr. Lang. And they are both showing animals here at the uh, farm show. So, uh, Mr. Calvert, um, what animals do you have here at the farm show? I've got 10 merinos. Uh, they're a wool breed of sheep. They show tomorrow morning at 8. So what are some of the things you do to prepare the sheep to get ready to show them? Well, you have to feed them the year round and you can't hardly show sheep without or any animal without feeding them some grain. Otherwise they could be on pasture and grow them out that way, but to get the extra growth and feed them grain and now, do you right. bathe them, or do you? Is, what's what's different about a show sheep compared to a sheep that you might raise for other purposes? Well, since these are a wool breed, they need to have a fleece of wool on when the show time is. So, and the lanolin's in the wool, so you don't want to wash that out. So these don't get washed. Now the meat breeds which I have Shropshire's at home, but I don't show them. Those you would wash or clip them down, so. So this is a year, year long project for you. Um, how old are the sheep? Well, the oldest, oldest ones that are in the yearling class will be two years old, probably next month or March. And the others were born in February of last year, so they're actually, with this show, they're actually a year older than the class that are happen to be showing in. Okay, and what, what got you interested in doing this? Is this something you grew up with, or did you get interested later? Well, I grew up on a farm in Greene County, and we've always, my grandfather and great-grandfather all had sheep, and at that time, most all of them were Merinos, and then joined 4-H in 1954 and Been that's when it, it ever took since. off. Dad was a 4-H leader and so I guess that's 60 years ago, right? Yeah, close to that. All right, and Mr. Lang, what kind of animals are you down here with with this farm shop? Uh, beef shorthorns. Okay, and explain to me what a beef shorthorn is. Uh, just a beef cow that, uh, raised for beef. Okay. And did you already show yours, or what? Yes, my daughter showed in 4-H. Okay. And what what are some of the things that separate that from a run-of-the-mill cow? Oh, just got to work with them to lead them around, lead them with a rope, and, and uh, keep, keep them clean, cleaner. Now, everybody tells me the uh, you can't go to the farm show without getting a milkshake. Do you guys subscribe to that theory? Oh, yes. Definitely got to have milkshakes. Okay. And uh, what's so special about a farm show milkshake? Just dairy products. <laughs> um, and is there anything special that people that aren't into farming would expect to see here at the farm show that you would recommend they check out? Either one of you? Well, all the livestock. Uh, this week, the dairy cattle's here and the sheep and goats. Uh, uh, his daughter's cattle were here over the weekend, and they showed and went back home. Well, there was a girl from Grove City that had a winning rabbit at the rabbit barn. I do know that. Now, um, I had interviewed the department secretary earlier and, and talked about how big of a business farming is. How important do you think farming is to Pennsylvania? Well, it's considered number one industry with all the side businesses. It involves an awful lot of money. and with the machinery Charles and Gilbert the grain markets and the so on. And the wine part out Charles here is pretty nice too. To it's okay, so quite a lot of business now. And you've been in it basically since you were kids? And yeah. it's seen a lot of changes? Oh yeah. So could you kind of describe some of those changes? I would say that the, we've seen probably more changes than any generation because I grew up in a house, we didn't have TV, had a crank telephone that was a party line, so everybody that was on that line was, and most of the people were inside of your house, so, but. Uh, Quite a difference than using a GPS to run the tractors like they do now, huh? Well, thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate your time.